Hi there everybody. Happy Saturday. It's been a little strange here in the Bahamas over the last few days, specifically in the capital, New Providence, because we've had um, some smoke. Last week, I think it was last Tuesday or Wednesday, there were a number of bushfires and so, which were, you know, di it was difficult to put them out. And so there was a lot of smoke. And what happened is that as a consequence, the air was completely covered in smoke, you know, and the sun has been obscured. And it's been very kind of gray looking. Thankfully, things have, you know, the, the fires have gone out because we had a tremendous storms and a lot of rain. And so that put paid to the, to the bushfires, thankfully. Um, but we've still got this cloud cover and kind of weird, heavy kind of energy, which I think is linked to a storm system that is moving through and heading to the US. So um, it's, it's very strange, is all I can say. But, but the reason I've hopped on today is because I was thinking about how this, the environmental effects of the smoke obscuring the sun is a great analogy for what happens with respect to how we can be in relation to our own seeing and our own capacity to shine bright and shine forth and stand in the truth of who we are. This morning I was speaking to um, a couple of people in an, a live stream session I was running which was titled Seeing Through the Illusion and we were speaking specifically to some of the ideas and beliefs and the conditioning we have that prevent us from recognizing the truth of the self. And these ideas and beliefs uh, are really are around what we think enlightenment or self-realization looks like and what it doesn't look like and how we convince we can convince ourselves that we are not even close to that recognition because there are still you know things that play out either physically emotionally or psychologically and there's a tendency to think that all of that has to be purified in order for us to attain what is essentially our fundamental and true and real and authentic nature that is always here has always been here and will always be here and that's just the truth of it um, and in that discussion this morning what i spoke to and what was coming up is remembering something from when i was a kid i was sent i was raised as a catholic and i was sent to a catholic school and we were taught the importance of patience and honoring patience and trying to be as patient as we could be with respect to um, how we tr treated others and dealt with others and um, you know supported others and it was really sort of touted as being this very high virtue and that we needed to maintain patience at all times and at all costs and you know while this is true there's also untruth in that as well, specifically with respect to spiritual communities, because we can extend and extend and extend patience towards experiences and situations and spiritual seekers and people in the community that, you know, really um, it, it is, is disadvantageous to both us and to the people concerned. And this is why oftentimes in spiritual communities, very poor, very negative, manipulative behavior can not only thrive, but thrive for a long period of time with people turning the other way, believing that they have to be kind of patient and kind and loving and generous and all of those things and really deny their own true authentic seeing. 
So, and I'm just using that as one example. And the truth is that with respect to patience, yes, it's a good thing to be patient and it's patient and it's important to be patient, but oftentimes it's equally as important to acknowledge our anger and our frustration, to see and see what it is here to show us, and if required, to allow that to express itself because oftentimes until we get really frustrated or really angry about something we can continue in a dysfunctional relationship in, you know in a personal relationship or a work relationship that really does us no good so what i would love to invite you today to look at is right now in your life where is patience serving you and where is it not serving you because oftentimes we don't want to shine light on our frustration and our anger because we think it's not spiritual and we shouldn't feel that way and all of those things we tell ourselves which is absolutely ridiculous and um, so so yes just take a look and see if there is you know, impatience that you've been trying to subvert or turn away from or manage and see what it is here to tell you and to reveal to you because it has a message. Everything, everything plays its part. Everything is important. Whether it's anger, irritation, frustration, sadness, despair, depression, whatever it is, it is all part and parcel of the recognition of the oneself prior to the movement of those emotions, prior to thoughts, beliefs and conditions, conditioning. And uh, it's all part and parcel of play, you know, playing out in our human expression as the self. So I invite you to look at that today, to get real, to get honest, to really stay in your own seeing if you like embrace your own seeing don't try and run especially when something comes up that's uncomfortable because this is what self-realization is it's the supreme self or source itself shining light into areas of your life that need some tlc or need some adjustment or some loving care or a calling for you to you know move away from or change the dynamic that you're involved in and bring healing and light to it so this is my offering today and in this offering as always i really encourage you to do the work feel free also to share and to ask questions below i really love to engage and ask questions this is why i'm here and again if you would like to find me on instagram i'm there as julie hoyle official and i'm also on the adjata casa app and i'm hosting a fantastic group there called awake now what so there are plenty place of places that you can find me you can also find me on my website at juliehoyle.org so be well be happy Keep shining bright. Be true to you no matter what. Be true to you. Don't deny anything. Welcome it all in. And take it easy. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I send you much love. Bye for now.